Conversations are a fundamental aspect to our existence, and within the age of our new technologies, social medias, and lack of one-on-one -on -one conversations, we are truly losing our connection with each other. While we are more interconnected than ever before, our conversations have become dull, shallow, lacking depth, meaning, and empathy for one another. We're losing the art of conversation, and this is becoming a detriment to our society. No longer do we have thorough, thought-out debates, and we just recite lines we hear from others that are, in the end, straw man arguments or filibuster statements that don't necessarily retain any prowess. In the age that we are supposed to be our most intelligent, it's become harder to have conversations with those of us with opposing views. Instead of listening critically, we already have a prepared rebuttal to recite and ignore the humanity within each other, only looking at us as if we are mortal enemies that could have never related to each other, creating a very toxic wedge that drifts us farther and farther apart. Rediscovering conversation starts with being present and ends with meaningful, active listening. Empathy and the power of face-to-face -face interactions. When we dehumanize a individual, we lose these traits. This is more apparent now with our lost physical connections and replacement with these black screens we carry that we only see the text and not the one typing. Engaging in person-to-person -person dialogue is akin to a dance, a delicate interplay of words, gestures, and shared understandings. Navigating through difficult discussions requires a commitment to finding a common ground of ideas amidst the turbulence of our own emotions. When we let our emotions become the end result and not rational thought, it becomes detrimental to a conversation and forces each person to remain on their one side. Emotional maturity is crucial to navigating through a difficult conversation. It involves not just understanding how one is feeling, but the ability to manage your emotions and use them effectively in handling a conversation. And there are multiple traits of this that deepen our understanding. So I'm maybe halfway or three-fourths of the way done with this painting, and I'm not really liking how it is looking. So I'm going to be reworking it, simplifying it. It's a little too complicated in the face area compared to the rest of the painting. So we're going to be working on that. And I bit too much off than I could chew. Self-awareness. It's really just having a deep understanding of your own emotions. And it allows you to see through them with clarity and non-impulsive reactions. Having empathy en enables us to empathize with others' perspectives. This, in it of itself, aids a foundation for con constructive dialogue as it creates genuine interest in another's view on a situation. Using non-defensive ways of communicating helps us through allowing the feeling of a safe space to be open with each other. And without this, we don't get to speak truth to our ideals. Rather than dwelling on blame or negativity, we focus on solving problems instead of aiming for accountability. You see, it helps us find solutions. And maintaining resilience in the face of discomfort is also a key factor as well. Usually, the difficult conversations that we have are exactly what we need. So it's vital to stand your ground in a non-defensive position. And lastly, I'd say that patience is something that we all should have. Carrying conversations like these are difficult for a reason, 
and won't be resolved within a few rebuttals or a couple exchanges in conversations. So invest in your time to have a thorough discussion and remain calm when things aren't looking your way. This painting I've worked on in the video is a 24 by 30 inch acrylic on stretch canvas. And I was truly inspired by a conversation I had with friends that we had not agreed on. But in the end, we got a better perspective on each other's ideas on life and philosophy. And it made me understand them better and them understand me more too. After all, that is all we truly want to be, to be understood. And in that, it's made friendships even closer, even if we can't agree on things. And I truly felt like it was an amazing conversation that involves all of these traits. And I wanted to share it with you guys. You see, by embracing emotional maturity, we can transcend impulsive reactions and foster an environment where genuine understanding and connection can thrive in a world where conversations are increasingly strained. Let us strive to rekindle the flame of meaningful dialogue, bridging the gaps that separate us and embracing the richness of human connection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I have a website that you guys can view. It is torchesart.com to look at multitudes of my paintings and get a better understanding of my work. And you can purchase them on that website as well if you're in the US, I might add. So I hope you guys have a nice one and I'll see you next video. Please comment down below ways that you've had great conversations with people that you couldn't agree with. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.